Ken's politicians are reacting to the news the UK could cancel the Brexit process without EU approval. According to a senior adviser to the European Court of Justice, the UK can unilaterally abandon its withdrawal, something which anti-Brexit campaigners have seen as a boost. To talk more about what this could mean for the process of leaving the European Union, I'm pleased to say I'm joined by David Atchison from the University of Kent. David, thanks for, very much for joining us today. No. Very tricky subject. Just give us a bit more details about it. OK, so the important thing to remember about what we've had today is that this is not the decision of the European Court. So this is a um, recommendation given by an advocate general, um, and the, the decision of the court might be based on that. It might follow the um, advocate general's um, recommendation, or it might make entirely a different decision. Uh, it might make the same decision on a different legal basis, which could affect its implications. So we won't know what the position is under EU law until the European Court of Justice makes its final decision, which will, uh, I think, be in the week that starts the 17th of December. So uh, at the moment, it's very much hypothetical? Yes, at the moment, it's a recommendation made um, by a um, legal expert to the court. The court is under no obligation to accept that recommendation. Um, what that means is that we have an, a, a suggestion of how the European Court might decide. It tends to go with the opinion of the Advocate General. Um, and that's going to have to form the basis of Parliament's judgment when it comes to the meaningful vote on the 11th of December. But that vote will be held before the European Court has actually had its final say on the matter. And in light of that, at this stage, how, what is the likelihood of it actually happening? Um, so one of the um, things that the Advocate General said was that if the Article 50 notice is revocable, then it would have to be done in accordance with the constitutional law of the UK. So that would then potentially give rise to a question as to um, how the notice could be revoked in terms of UK law. Um, and if you remember the Miller case, the, um, where the Supreme Court decided whether or not the government could um, send the Article 50 notice in the first place, um, for the purpose of that case, it presumed that the Article 50 notice was not revocable. So that would mean that, at least potentially, if, if the government wanted to revoke Article 50, then there would be litigation in the UK to determine whether it had the authority to do so or whether Parliament would again need to pass legislation to allow it to. Well, it's set to be a very interesting month or so. David, thanks very much indeed. No worries.